since today is World Communion Day. It's my favorite day in the church calendar. It, it truly is. I wanted to share some of what Holy Communion means to me. Open table communion to me is a declaration that none of us should dare place ourselves between God's grace and another person. The open table is in faithful defiance of those who dare to fence or guard the Lord's table. As the reformer John Huss wrote from prison in 1450, a week before he was executed, we ought not to follow custom, but Christ's example and truth. Open communion demonstrates unity. As Martin Luther wrote, its name is communion, its essence the uniting of hearts. This is set forth in the very elements of the sacrament in which many grains of wheat, their individual differences lost, are brought together in the one bread, and many grapes, their differences also lost, into the one wine. With whom are we in communion? With God in faith, with one another here in practice, with Jesus Christ in profession, and with others who call Jesus Lord, whether we like it or them or not, and whether they like it or not. To those outside church, whether they've never been in church or they quit church, bored or disgusted or abused, we're all the same. Whenever any branch of Christianity gets press, we all get press, good or bad, in public perception and under God. We are all in it together. Can I get a witness? Witness the Apostle Paul writing to Christians in Corinth. Just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. If one member suffers, all suffer together with it. If one member is honored, all rejoice together with it. Can I get a witness? Witness the preamble of the Constitution of the United Church of Christ, with which this church, local church, freely and voluntarily covenants. The United Church of Christ acknowledges as its sole head Jesus Christ, Son of God and Savior. It acknowledges as kindred in Christ all who share in this confession. Can I get a witness? Witness Douglas Horton. In 1962, he wrote a book called The United Church of Christ. It wasn't long after the UCC came together. He wrote, Communicants at the Lord's table in the United Church of Christ drink the words of Augustine and the other thinkers of the ancient and the Western Church in proportion as they know them. They eat the thought of Luther, Calvin, Zwingli, if they are acquainted with them. They take the bread of the pilgrims at Plymouth, it's hard to break, being frozen. The stream of strength which flows to us from the prophets and apostles of the past is limitless in its potentialities. The UCC urges its people to know so well the saints and martyrs who have made the church what it is that when they eat the bread and take the cup, they will feel toward them a personal gratitude for having transmitted to them the communion of, the communion of Christ and given it new meaning. My prayer this morning on World Communion Sunday is that those with ears to hear receive the full historical gift of communion as we have been given it by Christ through our ancestors in faith. We share it with all our brothers and sisters in Christ whether or not they would extend the same hospitality to us. It is here for all who would meet the Holy One at this open table. And now let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 